Okay. Hello. And... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and earlier today I was browsing the trade chat looking for an Akana Riven for a build that I'm working on. And as I was browsing through the chat I saw someone selling an Optico Riven and a really good one as well. So I asked for the price and it's unsurprisingly very high, it's 1500 platinum, to which I replied lol no because I was like nah mate that's just too much. But then I realized that I got a lot of platinum from referrals lately so I have almost 2000 platinum. So I message him again and ask him how about 1k, to which he replies how about 1.2k and you know me being me I immediately start thinking well this is just the most ridiculous overkilliest overkill of all overkills. Yes! <laughs> Deal! So he jumped into the dojo and he trades me the ribbon. Now I did have to add one more forma to my Opticor so it's now 8 forma but you only need 7 if you want to do something insane like this because the previous ribbon I had had a depolarity and this one has a dash. Now the setup is pretty much the same, it's running serration for damage, split chamber for multi shot, then we have heavy caliber for even more damage and the lowered accuracy doesn't actually matter that much, especially now with update 21 because update 21 did buff the opticore and one of the buffs was that they made the beam much thicker. Also I have no idea what's going on with heavy caliber and why it has plus 55 accuracy in capital letters at the bottom but I suspect it's a derp and it doesn't really seem to do anything. I'm still using Val Acceleration because without it the charge time is 2 seconds so it takes 2 seconds to charge the Opticor and this is just way too long, especially since the weapon just fires once it's fully charged whether you want it or not. It just makes the weapon much better because it brings the charge time down to 1.05. And then we have some big damage, so we have Stormbringer and Infected Clip which combines into 14,000 corrosive damage, Primed Cryo Rounds which adds almost 12,000 cold damage and it's not even maxed out, and finally the Riven, Opticore Acricron, and oh my goodness, this thing is just insane. It adds plus 221% bonus critical chance, plus 184.9% bonus critical damage, and it does 28.7% less damage to Grenier, which doesn't matter one little bit. Also, it's not been rolled even once, someone won the lottery with this Riven right here. Now as soon as I finished the build I started doing some random stuff, I was in the simulacrum, then I was running all the different bosses, there was a flood on Krill and that was kind of funny because he went down in like 4 or 5 shots which is just ridiculous. Raptor was kind of funny as well because as soon as they spawn I would just laser them and the detonation capsule would fall right into the tube so I didn't have to do anything there. Then I broke Lefantis, probably because of the disintegration effect but maybe also because of the amount of burst damage I was able to do because when I shot one of the heads it just disintegrated and the broken floor stayed there for the rest of the fight. Then I did Nightmare Sargas Rook while hoping that the damage ceiling for each weak point can be broken if you're doing like hundreds of thousands of damage with each shot, but it unfortunately doesn't work, there is just a set amount of damage that each weak point can take and there is nothing you can do about it. Also before I format away the second D I slapped on Hammer Shot and I went into the simulacrum with Ash and Harrow trying to get as much damage out of this as possible. And the damage even with Harrow who wasn't stripping away their armor was pretty good. I got a 90k red grid headshot on a napalm and a bombard and a 254k red grid headshot on a heavy gunner. And with Ash I was using Seeking Shuriken to strip away all the Bombard's armor and I crit him for 490,000. And yes I did go back to the simulacrum once the build was done and I tried Banshee which... Well... This happened. This isn't the big f***ing gun anymore. No 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 no. It has ascended way past that. It is now... The biggest f***ing gun. It one shots every boss that doesn't have any kind of invulnerability or damage ceiling so they can't take more than an X amount of damage per shot and seeing like a 100k or a 200k headshot crate is eh, just a thing that happens. I think this is going to be my go-to sortie assassination weapon now. It's just utterly ridiculous, it overkills absolutely everything 10 times over and I love it. And that's it for the video, so I hope you have enjoyed it, I thank you very much for watching as always guys, and I will see you next time, bye bye.